Are we truly God's missionary disciples? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. In today's gospel reading, Jesus tells his 12 apostles that they do not need food, money, a sack, or a second tunic in order to preach repentance, drive out demons, and cure the sick. What they need is a companion and the authority to drive out demons, a walking stick, and sandals. It's very clear that the success of their mission depends on the Lord who is sending them, and He will be the one who will provide all their needs. Their task is to trust in Him and not depend on money or other provisions. This is quite a leap of faith to go forth with nothing but sandals and a walking stick. Yesterday, January 31, was the feast day of St. John Bosco. His life is a very good example of this leap of faith. He was born in Becci, Italy in 1815 of humble parents. His father died when he was only two years old. His mother, Margaret, was a great influence on his spiritual formation. When John was nine, he had a dream where he found himself amidst a large crowd of rowdy boys who were or cursing and creating trouble. He tried to stop them, but they refused to listen to him. Suddenly, a man appeared. Later on, he realized it was Jesus who motioned to John and said, not with punches will you help these boys, but with goodness and kindness. Then a woman appeared, and later, jo later on, John realized she was the Blessed Virgin Mary. Putting her arms around John, she said, Watch what I do, John. The wild boys changed to a pack of wild animals whose growls sent terror to John's heart. Then the woman put out her hand, and the wild beasts changed into a frolicking flock of lambs. G John burst into tears and asked the woman, But what does this mean to me? I'm just a farm boy. What can I do? The lady's answer came to him, ever to resound in his heart, to be repeated audibly several times in his life. As the lady said, This is the field of your work. Be humble, steadfast, and strong. Fast forward to St. John Bosco's adult life. With the strong support of his mother and benefactors, Don Bosco, as he is fondly called by us, who consider him as a father of our faith, was ordained to the priesthood on June 5, 1841, in Turin, Italy. With this ordination came the release of a powerful spiritual energy, which joined to his rare human gifts was to exert a lasting influence on the modern world, on the modern youth of today. On the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, as he was besting for Mass, a poor boy sneaked into the church and asked for food. The boy named Bartolomeo Garelli attended Mass, was given food, 
and that friendship was the start of Don Bosco's worldwide ministry to bring young people to God. When asked by the directress of the girls' orphanage, Don Bosco was their chaplain. Why he was leaving them, he simply told her, you can always find a priest to replace me, but these boys, they need me. With his heart full of trust in God and Mary help of Christians and pockets empty, Don Bosco courageously took up the work that he had been prepared since he was a young boy. From then on, his motto became, Give me souls, the souls of young people. Don Bosco died on January 31st, 1888, Pope Pius XI canonized him as St. John Bosco on Easter Sunday, April 1, 1934. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is sending us to the world as his missionaries. May we heed his call and be like St. John Bosco, who dedicated his life in fulfilling his God-given role in saving souls. And let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear Lord Jesus, as you send us to mission, may you grant us the grace to take a leap of faith, trusting fully in your divine providence, and completely making ourselves available for helping bring souls into your kingdom. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families. May God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.